Alright, are you ready to take this thing out on its maiden off-road voyage? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get the sticker. This is the important thing right there. That's plus five horsepower. All right, maiden voyage on the dual sport DR200. Good? Good? Right. Let's take off. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the dork side. I am your friendly neighborhood dork in the woods, and today I'm riding dual sports in the woods with my dad. That's right, everyone. I am the dork in the road, or in this case, in the woods, and I want to be your internet riding buddy. And I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I'm available whenever you want, and I come with the mute button. So please don't hesitate to consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I post awesome new content just like this. Uh, you may have seen the video I posted riding with my dad uh, on our street bikes a couple weeks ago. And I'll put a link to it in here if I remember to do that when I'm editing this video. And after that ride, Dad and I got to talking and he's watched a few of my dual sport videos and especially the ones with, with my little one. And he's really been interested in getting into dual sport riding and riding in the woods with us. So he went out and bought himself a new Suzuki DR200 dual sport bike. And uh, you can't see him because he's behind me, but he's, bu he's taking it out on its maiden forest voyage right now. He's behind me riding it. Uh, he wanted to follow me to get a sense of how fast to take corners and stuff. So otherwise he'd be in front of me, which is much better footage, but uh, we're here to ride first and to make videos second. So if that's why you didn't get a whole loading and unloading montage or anything today, because trying to concentrate on the ride and just get some footage so you can get a sense of what it was like to be with us today. So we are uh, once again at Canyon Creek, my favorite spot to ride in the woods, apparently at least the one I know best. And uh, I thought I would take him up to that awesome overlook spot that I took the kid to because it's a pretty easy ride with a cool destination and um, this should be uh, well within the range of a newer dual sport rider to accomplish it. Well, a couple things to know about today. Uh, we got here and pulled dad's bike out of the truck and he remembered that he hadn't put gas in it. So we are unsure how much gas is in his bike. So while I would really, really like to get up to the top, it may be that if he runs out of gas and has to go to the reserve, then we will have to head back and we might not make it all the way up. So keep that in mind. Just to, just be forewarned if, there, if we may have more of an adventure than we're planning today. Here's the clear cut. First clear cut. The mountains is pretty awesome. So there's a decent view up to the top of this butte. It's easy to get up to, but it's pretty steep. So you want to check it out? All right, and there's lots of room to turn around at the top here. Yeah. It's just pretty steep, so you're good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, let's check it out. So we're going to go up to the top of this butte right here. It's pretty cool up here. This will be the first real test. Look at the steepest thing that he's ridden. I don't know, but Dad has a bunch of uh, street bike experience, but I don't know how much dirt bike. I know he has some. He definitely had a couple dirt bikes through the years, but I don't know how much time... And it's definitely not recent, I know that much, so. He's motoring up. He's doing good. It's pretty cool right here. Oh, those guys are down there. Looks like shooting. I'm guessing that's not a great place to go shooting. Oh, no, they're shooting across. It's not too bad. So right there in the winter, there's a big waterfall. But obviously not right now, but Can you smell that? yeah, yeah, you're burning some gas. You got an addition to the bottom of your, bottom of your helmet. This thing right here? Yeah, that's a brush guard. Yeah, it? it keeps the rocks out of my neck, off my neck, and catches all the dust. <laughs> keeps the dust out. Yeah, so it's really awesome. Really awesome. Yeah. Nice view. This is a nice view. Is this one of the places you take a picture from? I have taken pictures here, yeah. Looks like you're way out of there. <laughs> well, I frame them that way on purpose. <laughs> All right, well, should we keep going? Yeah. This part right here is stupid. Yeah, Dad is wisely taking the left side. I decided to take the super rocky part for some reason. He's good. He's crushing it. Crushing it. 
crushing it. A big log, log truck tire right there. So, like I said, we're taking it easy today. Might, um, let's see if you'll let me ride that thing. I test rode it. I test rode the DR200, uh, and I expected it to be very similar to this bike. And I mean, it is and that they're both dual sports, but it was more different than I was expecting. It was noticeably different from the second I threw my leg over it. It's like the Grom in this thing had a baby. But I'm hoping to do like a full test ride slash review of it since, you know, I have access to it now sometime uh, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, y'all, there's no like major agenda today. Like I said, we're going to try to get up to that lookout spot. But we just want to take it easy and hang out in the woods and ride some dual sports today. So I want to say thank you for coming along with for the ride. And I'm not paying attention. I'm getting too far ahead. I'm being a dick right now. Can I do this while I'm riding? I'm going to try to take a sip of water while I ride. Mission accomplished. I was successful. Oh, I got one more. That guy's hauling ass. So, he did not hit my dad, so that's good. Yeah, that's why I hate about coming up here on the weekends, is there's definitely more people and shit like that. And if they drive like I drive up here, you don't have a shit ton of time to react. So, we're gonna try to stay on the right. Here's the waterfall, which is just barely a trickle right now. Didn't show up very well the last time I came by here, so probably can't even see it. But that's a waterfall. Holy shit, is it bouncing the hell out of my fender right now? Should maybe smooth, I should maybe move that thing to the back. Uh, it's funny, riding slow is way more tiring than riding fast. I think just because when I'm riding fast, I'm constantly like shifting around and moving and using different muscles, and riding slow, it's like, just resting, slightly bent over the whole time. Putting a lot of pressure on my lower back. Dust right here. Somebody's just ahead of us, hopefully not. Well, they must be, because we'd have passed them if they were coming towards us. Funny how long it lingers. You can always tell when you're catching up to somebody in the woods. Damn, dude, there is like nothing left of this right now barely a stream. There's not much left right now. Alright, shall we go? I think there's a little a remnant of a road right there. Yeah, maybe. So this is the sketchy part. Oh, here's our boys. What the f*** they're doing? Drinking beers, I'm guessing. Taking pikachus. Yeah, you're good. That's beautiful down there. Howdy. Beautiful. This is the sketchy part with the falling rocks that got closed off. I like to go fast through it normally. There is a really gorgeous canyon over there though. That's why they call it Canyon Creek. Actually, there's a canyon on the other side of the highway too, so I don't know which one it's named after. Ooh, sketchy part complete. Get off my skip plate, mother flipper. Die, mother bitches. That uh, DR200 has really streety tires on it. Worse than the stock ones on the CRF on this bike. In fact, they seem a little bit more street biased. They're probably like 3070 tires. 3070. There's a quarry. I found my quarry. There are like zero camping spots along this creek. It sucks. But this is mostly logging company land. National Forest is the left side. So the right side, you disperse camping isn't legal anyway because it's not public land. This part is so sketchy now. All the fresh gravel. <laughs> Tires are very well inflated. I can feel it. I didn't know if we were going to get on the street at all last week, so I kept them all the way inflated. I didn't let the air out today. Share the road with, a, with the most boxiest, 80s looking sedan ever. Cool rock up there. 
there's that clear cut. Ten miles to this clear cut from the bottom. Wow. It's a pretty spot. What's that? Let's stop here then. Yeah, all right. Let's be pretty. All right, onward and upward. It's just a gorgeous spot. That rock formation's cool. I moved the fender bag to the rack behind me. See, it's gone. Uh, because I'm not using the rack, so it makes sense. Uh, I've always wanted to try it on the back, and it, it works good. It fits really good, just like perfect, so not moving around at all. Does it seem like... Whoa, that's a f***ing owl. I think that was an owl. Some kind of a falcon, if not. This spot's pretty cool. Cool marsh. Well, that little DR200 is doing fine. You'd expect it to on roads like this. I mean, I could ride the Grom up here. In fact, I might do that someday. Nothing super sketchy, just a few holes and ruts here and there. But it's gonna be great for this forest road exploration stuff, I think. It's gonna be real good, real good. What is that? Grouse or something? Looks like a big ass quail. That might be a pheasant. That's a pheasant. Yeah, a couple pheasant. I know you can't see it on the camera. They don't pick it up very well, but one went there and one's over here in the bushes. There's some wildlife today. You gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. There's another one. That is a pheasant. I know you can't see it. Very well, it's right there up into the trees. Huh, bunch of pheasant. It's supposed to be a real good, real good eating. I them, view, them views for you. There's a good one, a real good one. A real good one, big hole. This hillside's gorgeous. I know the falls, the leaves are already turning colors. Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool. 15 miles, we're almost there. Good spot. Good view. This is the trailhead. Twin Buttes trailhead. The little parking area right here. Oh, some rocks. That rocks. Almost there. Almost there. Alright, this is the turn. This is our hill. All right. So it gets a little shitty rocky at the top. And it's kind of steep. But slow and steady wins the race. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, we'll be, we're going up on top of that hill. Okay. Alright. Nice and easy. Almost up, a little bit farther now, a little bit farther now. It's a little, it's kind of hard to watch myself. And make sure Dad's doing all right. I'm sure he's fine. This is just bumpy, but it's not crazy bad. And the suspension eats up a lot of it. So it's not a great road, which I like because it keeps the riffraff out. I could get my truck up here. I don't. I could get the Versus up here, I just worry about the traction with the tires, because it's pretty loose. Alright, last section. God, that view behind us is amazing. I can see it in my mirror. Wait till you see it at the top. Wait until you see it. I 
at this part, the sketchbook. That tire slipping, and I've got decent traction. Can't imagine what it must be like on those streety street tires. This part. Ah, I cleared it. It did great. Did great. Did great. Well played. Well played. The payoff is massive. Can you see this? This spot is amazing. Just look at it. Look at what I'm looking at right here. Three sisters. Dude, the bush right there looked like a bear for a second. Crazy. I thought I was like, oh, a bear, cool. And a brown one, scary as shit. Although we don't have brown bear up here. The black bears have brown fur sometimes. This is it. Isn't it amazing? You did great up that hill. That last part gets a little rocky and technical. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Washington. Jeez. And then three sisters there. That's nice. I just like my helmet to see. No. All right, one last look, and we're going to head down. This is why you buy a dual sport, y'all. This is the reason. All right, headed back down, steep and slow. I'm going to take it easy. I mean, not that I haul ass down this hill anyway, but let's make sure we go slow enough to keep an eye on my riding companion <laughs> through the sketchy parts this part is sketchy that's a better campsite because you can put your uh, you can be able to put a tarp up over there I think it's a pretty decent view going down this too this is a pretty decent view of the three sisters right here. Pretty dece. I might stop and take a picture of this. And I'm just so happy that time I came up here to find that beaver pond that I decided to randomly go up that other road because that spot is amazing. I found it by accident. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Alright, well, we made it up without running out of gas, so that's a good thing. And, uh, if, if Dad were to need to take over to reserve at this point, I'd feel pretty confident we were going to make it back. But I bet you we don't even have to do that. That thing, that DR200 has like a three and a half gallon tank. That's pretty amazing for a dual sport this size. Because mine's got a two gallon tank. Duck Fan's WR250R has two gallon tank. So that's that's one plus with a little DR. There are a lot of minuses, like it's carbureted and underpowered, shorter, less suspension, but uh, bigger gas tank. So if you want for like this stuff, for just like cruising up and down logging roads and light, light uh, technical stuff, man, it's a good little bike for that. I think it's cheaper too. So there's that. Pretty gorgeous. This is interesting that this Ford Focus is up here. Ballsy. This sign cracks me up every time. I don't know what the hell it's here for. Thanks for what? Exactly. I feel like there's a few signs missing. It's just, I mean, we are like 17 miles up, but there's just a random ass sign. Yeah. Pretty weird. This hillside is pretty cool.
All right, y'all, we're gonna head down now, so uh, I'll of course bring you back in if anything, inter if anything interesting happens. Actually, I'll just put this part at the end of the video. But I wanna say thank you very much for coming along and riding with us. And a good time riding with my dad. I enjoyed showing him that spot up at the top. If you like what you saw and you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, until next time, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you. Excellent! <laughs>